Hey guys, so we're trying to solve x plus y equals 8, y plus z equals 7, and x plus z equals 5. We want to know what values for x, y, and z would make all three of these true. So there's a fun way to solve this. Let's give each of these a 1 coefficient. We don't have a z in the top row, so let's add 0z. We don't have an x in the second row, so let's put 0x. And we don't have a y in the third row, so we'll put 0y. So I want to rewrite this in a matrix. I'm going to take the coefficients, the 1, 1, 0, 8, and put it in the top row. Same thing here, 0, 1, 1, 7, and for here, 1, 0, 1, 5. Now my goal is to get a matrix that has 1, ones on the diagonal right here and zeros everywhere else. And when I have this right here, that means that whatever numbers are here are my solutions for X, Y, and Z. So we'll drag this down here and this is where we're trying to get to. The way we make this happen is we're going to make manipulations one row at a time. And I'll show you how it looks. So to fill our next matrix, let's copy all this stuff down. We're going to take this first row right here, subtract the second and add the third. And that's going to be our new row one. So one minus zero plus one is two. One minus one is zero plus zero is zero. Zero minus one is negative one plus one one is zero and eight minus seven is one plus five is six and then we'll just copy these other rows down let's get rid of this and bring it up now for our next matrix i want this two to change into a one so i'm just going to take that first row and divide everything by two two divided by two is one and both these zeros divided by two are both going to be zero and six divided by two is three and now i'll just copy these other two rows down let's get rid of our work bring this up and let's make another matrix next i want to change this bottom row into a zero zero one i'm going to take the bottom row here then i'm going to subtract from this the top row and my answer is going to be the new row three. So one minus one is zero, zero minus zero is zero, one minus zero is one, and five minus three is two. And then I'm just going to copy down these other two rows. Get rid of our work, bring it up, new matrix. Now we're really close to what we're trying to get. We just still have this one right here we want to get rid of. I can see right here if I subtract the third row from it, this will then become a zero. So I'm going to copy these two rows down and subtract the second row. And then my answer is going to be the new row two. So zero minus zero is zero, one minus zero is one, one minus one is zero, and seven minus two is five. I'll bring down these other rows get rid of this stuff and bring this up and now we're done we have our one 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 just like we wanted so x is equal to three y is equal to five and z is equal to two and we did it and we can check our work if we get rid of all this stuff bring it up and we can rewrite this like it was originally we'll plug in three for the x's five for the y's and two for the z's and we simplify it and we get true answers so we just found out what x y and z need to be to make this true